Hey guys, welcome back. It's time for a video. <laughs> Obviously. It's time for another Top 5 series. Okay, don't be scared. I know I'm looking a little goth today, but you know, sometimes you have to go a little goth. You know, just you're in the mood, you know, to be a little... Okay, <laughs> all right, all right, so let's just move on. Today is installment number five of my top five series with my best friend Danny from Coffee Break with Danny. I am going to link Danny below for you guys. Today we are tackling the subject of bright lipstick. <laughs> and of course, I had to go with one of my choices for today, duh. So, um, yeah, if you guys haven't been watching this series, there is a playlist link below in the description bar for you. So far, in our series we have talked about highlighter, blush, contour and bronzing, eyeshadow palettes, and now bright lipsticks, which is definitely the most fun, the fun topic to talk about. So without yammering on too much, I'm just gonna get started. Let's get this this sleeve up, ready for swatches. Ready for swatches. I'm gonna start with this. Now I know this looks like an itty bitty little lipstick, but this is a Kat Von D lipstick I got last year for Christmas, but they do sell in the permanent line. Now this is called Go Go, which is my favorite orange lippy. Oh, it's so bright and creamy and beautiful. You can get this in their long wearing a lipstick um, formula as well. So let me give you, I mean, it's so bright and opaque, it looks like a crayon. It's craziness. You have to try orange lipsticks. I really used to hate orange lips, and mainly because I kind of lacked the confidence to wear it, and I had pink hair. When I had pink hair, it was a serious problem. Like, I started to fall in love with orange lips when I had pink hair, but I couldn't wear it because it clashed with my hair, and I just hated the way it looked. So, this is a go-go. It's on me right now. So opaque and beautiful, and I love it. It's great for the current season, too. So, okay, so let's hit the next color. Sticking for the bright kind of orangey, corally shades, I'm going to go to this. This is Milani Matte Passion. This shade is much deeper than a go-go, and it leans much more on the red side. This is one of my favorite lipsticks to wear. This is actually a dupe for Max Lady Danger, in my humble opinion or something that's super, super close. But you can see the shade, it's so opaque and beautiful, but it's got that more reddish undertone. It's not as true orange as a go-go is. It's so, so beautiful. And it it's something that you can wear out for a party and something you can just wear, normally you can tone it down with like a, like a, a brownish lip liner. You can tone it down with a little bit of lip gloss. This shade is so beautiful, super super affordable at the drugstore as well. I think these are going for $5.99 now, and they smell like, um, what do they smell like? These smell like vanilla. The matte ones smell like vanilla. The non-matte ones smell like watermelon. So that's the thing. That's the thing. This is my favorite shade of all, the matte Milani lipsticks, though. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at it. Gorgeous. Okay, so for my third favorite lipstick, this is not going to be a surprise to anybody if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time. This is Flamingo by MAC, which is a luster. It is super gorgeous. I love this so much. This is just a beautiful, bright, salmony coral. Oh, this, this color. It, it is so versatile, and it goes with so many things. You can wear it with a black smoky eye. You can wear it with natural makeup. I'm like putting the swatch down. You can wear it with natural makeup. If you just want like a quick wash of color on your lips, you can put it on your lips and re really make it sheer. Or you, this color can be built up. I found this at a CCO, if you can believe it, for like $10. I love this shade so much. I actually am so obsessed with it. I bought a backup. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is definitely one of my favorite MAC shades. And it's just beautiful. It makes you look so healthy when you wear it. Oh, I love it. Flamingo is just beautiful. I feel like this is like the Milani and MAC show today. The next color I'm going to talk about is this. This is by Milani. This is their Lip Intense Liquid Lip Color in Fiery Coral. Now, I know it's this Fiery Coral, but it's really not coral. It just is absolutely beautiful pink. It's pink. Let's be real. It's pink. I, I don't know why they named it Fiery Coral, but oh. It's just the most stunning shade of pink that I can, f oh, I don't even know what to say about it. It's, a, it's so beautiful. The color is so rich, so pigmented, and whenever I wear it, my lips look so juicy. People are always like, your lips look amazing today. Every single time I wear this lipstick. It is so good. It isn't transfer proof. I mean, it does transfer, so it's not 
long wearing, but it's it's intense. I mean, it's cold intense for a reason. It's definitely intense. So this is what Fiery Coral looks like. I wish they would have chosen a better name, but it's definitely not fiery. But I mean, it's definitely not coral. I would say it was pink, but that's just me. The next color I'm going to talk about is another MAC lipstick. Like, you guys are surprised. This is probably my favorite pink that has ever existed on this world. Do you guys know what it is? It's Girl About Town. I cannot mention a top five favorite bright lipstick collection, series, anything without mentioning Girl About Town. This color rocks my world. This is the most beautiful fuchsia. Look at me. I'm going out for a party. I'm happy. I'm having a great time lipstick. This color rocks my world. I love this shade so much. I, I can't even say enough about Girl About Town. It's one of those shades that you see it and you're like, whoa, mama, that is fuchsia. But you have to try it on. You girls have to try it, or guys, you have to try it on. Check this out. It's so amazing. I almost smudged it on my face. I almost made it war paint. Um, it is so amazing and beautiful and just, I feel so happy when I'm wearing this lipstick and I just feel like ugh, I'm just ready for a good time. It's so amazing and it's versatile. Like this shade, first of all, it looks good on any skin tone. Any skin tone, this color looks good. And it, you can wear it with a smoky eye, natural eyes, winged eyeliner, smoky, I mean, smoked out, anything. I'm just, I'm, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with girl, girl About Town. I feel like a girl about town when I'm wearing Girl About Town. Let's just be honest. I mean, I love it. It's so amazing. So those are my top five favorite bright lip products. I resisted as hard as I could to throw in a six because you guys know I can't help but cheat. I kind of want to, but then I'd be here all day and you guys would be here all day. I could do like a top 50 bright lipstick. I love bright lipstick so much, you guys. I love dark and vampy and bright and bold and crazy. But I just wanted to give you guys my faves. These are my faves. I mean, I could throw more in there, like Relentlessly Red by MAC, Candy Yum Yum, or Pink Pigeon by MAC. I could go on forever, but these are my top five. Okay. <laughs> um, don't forget to head over to Danny's channel and check out her top five because she picks some really, really good ones, really beautiful ones, and I think that you guys will definitely enjoy that. Um, if you've been liking this series, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It lets me know that you've been enjoying it. We have plenty more on its way for you guys, so I hope you are enjoying it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.